this show, Organic Consulting, where we are all about organic eating. Organic eating is not only healthy, but also it could be very delicious, as we shall soon find out. So today we are making a very simple side dish, the guacamole. You know, we've had it in the movies, and you're thinking it's something complex. It's a normal kachumbari, and I'm going to take you step by step how we can make an organic guacamole. So let's get to it. So, for you to make a delicious and uh, appealing guacamole, we're going to use four main ingredients. Onions. This is one chopped onion. We make it small sizes because remember you're going to eat it raw. We're not going to cook this. Next, we have one ripe tomato. Make sure it's ripe and juicy so that you can have a good texture. Plus, it will also be more delicious because we are eating it raw. Then we'll have our coriander or dania. A bunch could do, like the five more boy. That one should do. So you'll also wash well. And of, of course, we're going to wash all the ingredients thoroughly. Then we're going to wash this and uh, cut them up uh, into, like chop them into small um, chewable sizes. Go for the leaves and um, the tender parts of the stem. Then of course, the heart of the guacamole is the avocado. Make sure you get a nice ripe avocado, which you're going to use. So for this, we're going to make uh, using one whole avocado. So the first thing, you'll get your bowl. Here it is. We're going to uh, pour in the onions into our bowl. Chop them with nice, small pieces. So some people when they're chopping the onion, they wash it in uh, salty water to remove that stinginess. But you can also just, I like mine like that, you know, just wash it in normal water and, and you're good to go. Then we're going to add the tomatoes. So we're going to first mix this because the secret to any food is mixing. But you can have a very nice blend. Here we have our tomatoes and the onions the next we're going to put the coriander chop it into small pieces so that it will mix evenly with the rest of your ingredients so we're gonna mix this so already you can see it looks so delicious there's lots of color you have green we have purple from the onion we have red from the tomatoes looks really really colorful and nice and you know with organic food the more color you have the more nutrients you have so there you go next we're going to scoop the avocado using a spoon make sure you get a nice avocado the creamy one you know the creamier the tastier i believe so we just got a scoop don't worry we're scooping it in big pieces there you have clean scoop. Then uh, we'll also scoop again this other half. So half your avocado for uh, ease when it comes to making your guacamole. There you go. So after that, notice I switch from the spoon to the fork. It has more surface and makes uh, mashing it quite an easy task. So just mash the avocado. There you go so if it's well uh, if it's uh, right it's going to be quite easy to mash as you can see so be careful when you're choosing avocado you know it's always a gamble so take your time so that you end up with a nice avocado that's uh, ripe and easy to mash there you go so now once you mash now you can just mix everything as you continue to mash it I'm telling you the aroma and we're not even cooking it just eating it raw full of all that goodness and all those nutrients there you go so there we have it so mashed up and real nice no lumps yeah and then you don't kill the you know it's not like blending you still have some uh, texture yeah that's the word i'm looking for because the tomatoes are whole but they are tiny pieces so they're not going to choke on them or something there you go so you end up with this very nice green um guacamole such a nice color you have all your red popping out purple popping green there you go 
So this one you can eat with so many things. Ugali rice, you can put it between bread and like a sandwich. So I'm just gonna serve a portion of my guacamole and I'm gonna tell you how it tastes like. Beautiful. So let's taste this. Mm. Pretty nice. Crunchy. Don't need to even add salt, but you can add pepper or salt to your liking. So that's it today. And for the tummy, guacamole. Our food for about today is on the beauty of diversity, being different, being uh, each person having their own unique character, their unique personality, and how we should be proud of our diversity and how different we are. Let's say guacamole. If it was just all avocado, it wouldn't be the awesome guacamole we made. It would have just been avocado. But there's tomatoes, there's onions. None is better than the other. It's just that when they come together, they create a beautiful thing. And that's what diversity is all about. So do not be pressured to change who you are. Maybe, maybe in your relationship you feel like you want to be someone you're not or with your friends you're trying to be someone you're not. No, appreciate the fact that you're different. It's what makes you beautiful. Think about that. Remember to subscribe for more Food for Blacks and Food for Time. Bye!